Hello again, welcome to my channel. A request video this morning guys, um, I'm going to combine a few people into one video. Um, so somebody wanted to hear some naga, somebody wanted to hear one naga, somebody wanted to hear a few bowls. Anyway, so let's let's crack on with it. So somebody asked to hear this, this really old, um, it's an F sharp naga, F sharp 371 hertz. Beautiful patina, it's thick wall, it's a little bit of um, coppering inside. Absolutely fantastic ball. Let's have a listen to it, she. Very good. It's not inscribed, but it's um, it's high price because of the age of it. It's got um, a proper triangular rim inside. It's thick all the way down and thin underneath as they should be. Awesome ball, awesome. Particularly well made. Yeah. That's lovely. Let's have a listen to it in a mallet. I like to hit them with this. Cleanse yourself of any sort of negativity, negative energy clinging onto you. I use these a lot in my one to one therapy. Not a lot, but the person's on the couch. I kind of use it like a bell, you know, to kind of wash it and wash it all away. So there you go, fantastic. F Naga. F sharp, rather. So somebody else, I mentioned to somebody I had a pair of E's both inscribed. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> beautiful inscription. This is um, particularly fine. Really, really nice bowl. It's an E4, 325 hertz. It's nearly 1.3 kilos. So this one isn't actually for sale online, but you can purchase it off me if you want. Um, the person who's asking about these then decided between the two, so uh, I'll play them both now. There you go. Amazing bowl again. Triangular rim inside. This thick wall. I don't believe this is so thin underneath. Yeah, it is. It is. It's clean with a beautiful um, inscription with lotus flowers. It's absolutely amazing. That top sharp ball, guys. <clears throat> Here's the other one. This is E4 330, so it's spot on the nail. It's uh, just under 1.2 kilos. Another really nice inscription. This one, not quite as nice as the other one, but I'm the, the, the pricing would be very similar. It's a small inscription without the lotus flowers. Um, I can't interpret them. It'll, it's difficult to find out what they mean really. Similar sound. I think it needs a, a rim clean up this one. They could definitely benefit from rim clean. I mean, it's coming off with my nail. So I think I'll give this a wash after. I was supposed to have my friend come down soon um, to, uh, to have a mantle practice. We'll, we'll do a bit of uh, practice. Should be fun. There you go, that's the two E's. <clears throat> and just a good measure, I'm going to show this. It's a C4, 262 hertz. Absolutely wonderful. No inscription, but um, exceptionally large. It's a little bit lighter at uh, just under 1.1 kilos. You can 
can stop them, you know. You just put your hands, your fingers on it, and it slows it right down. This is one of the better ones. No one's asked to see this, I'm just showing it to you. Wow, yeah, very, very good. So, um, someone from Poland, a dude from Poland, he wanted to hear a few bowls. A musician, I believe. So this is the Lingam. Now, um, I think I believe this is a bit overpriced, but I paid a lot for it. That's the trouble. And uh, as time goes on and things don't sell, I think oh, I'm just going to drop the price on this a bit. I think I'll drop it a bit by. Uh, I'm going to drop it, yeah. Anyway, so, there you go. That's a nice bowl, it's a B2, 121 hertz. Rim play. This is definitely not the best bowl, you know. It's thin. Uh, I wouldn't have said it's particularly old, probably uh, 50, 70 year old, you know. He's also asked to hear this, Ramuna, beautiful Ramuna. It's an E3, 166 hertz. Again, it's not the best ball, not the best ball by any means. Uh, a D4, a little Thado, this is absolutely wonderful, really old Thado, really uneven on the top. This is a really nice, really, really nice ball actually. D4, 292 hertz. Really good. That's more like it, isn't it? There you go, that's the video concluded. So I'll see you again soon guys, I got um, Tempest Sounds bowls with my logo etched inside, they're being, they're made and they're being, they've been etched and they're being dispatched, I think it's on Monday because there's some problems in um, Nepal with, uh, with the airport, um, there's some kind of, um, because Nepal is a communist country and they're very close to China and there's some issues at the moment. Uh, diplomatic issues and all the rest of it, and they're not allowing any international flights in and out. I don't know the full story. Anyway, so hopefully I'll get those soon. They were extremely expensive, and um, unfortunately i got to pass that on. They were a lot of money. Right, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye for now.